Welcome to the Innovative Research Lab. I'm Shannon. Today we're going to be taking raw absorbance plate reader data and turning it into usable concentration data for your ELISA. We'll be using the Murine Total Factor 12 ELISA kit as our example. Let's get started. Begin by preparing your standards, following the kit's dilution table. For our mouse kit, you'll create a set of Factor 12 standards ranging from 0.01 .01 to 10 nanograms per mil. Add 100 microliters per well, and remember, standard curve and zero standard dilutions should be made and added to the plate immediately for best accuracy. Always record the placement of standards and unknowns meticulously. Use duplicates for standards to validate your curve. Your plate reader will output absorbance, OD450 values, for each well, standards, controls, and the unknown samples you're testing. Standards are key. They're known factor 12 concentrations. Controls validate your results, while unknowns are your actual research samples. Copy the raw data for the samples from the plate reader to your spreadsheet. Go ahead and copy that right next to your dilutions. Your dilutions might be different than the ones shown here. Subtract the background, just like we did for the standards. Divide the corrected absorbance OD by the slope to find the concentration in nanograms per mil. Now that you've corrected your absorbances, you will plot the data. You're going to plot corrected absorbance against factor 12 concentration for the standards. In the example here, we have the full range and the linear range. The full range is from 0 to 10 nanograms per mil, and the linear range is from 0 to 1. We'll be focusing on the linear range. Once your data is plotted, be sure to format the trend line. Set the y-intercept to 0, display the equation on the chart, as well as the r-squared value. Now you have your slope, and you can use it to calculate the concentration of your samples. Multiply by your dilution factor. If necessary, adjust your units. In this example, we divided by 1,000 to convert nanograms per mil to micrograms per mil. Take the average of the sample concentrations to report your results. If unknowns are outside the linear range or you want to increase accuracy, upload the raw data to a curve-fitting program like myassays.com and select the four-parameter logistic fit. Export calculated concentrations from the software and multiply by any dilution factors used during sample prep to get final results. When reporting your findings, always disclose the sample size, the replicates, and the dilutions. Also, it's really important that you state what controls you used and the kit. Outliers in your data typically reflect pipetting errors or edge effects. Make sure you double check your standards before moving forward. With our mouse total factor 12 ELISA kit, you'll get reproducible results, whether you use manual calculation or an advanced curve fitting software. For step-by-step -step guides and downloadable spreadsheets, be sure to check out our resources below. Subscribe for more lab walkthroughs and data interpretation tips. Thank you so much for watching us. Until next time, Keep discovering with innovative research.